Warning, this content is not for kids. If you're a kid, fuck off. The time has come, boys and girls. I'm about to attempt to make the Airfix glue version. Hawker Seidley Harrier GR1. The only German plane that's never seen any combat whatsoever. Yeah, I did say German aircraft or something, but RAF Germany. <laughs> so it's still a British aircraft. I still never fucking saw any combat though. My favourite Harrier is the Harrier Jump Jet. You might have heard of that. The thing doesn't even need a runway to take off. Oh, there's nostalgia in a box. Did you learn all that? Because I'm gonna need you to keep me right. There's my wee dude, look. There's my fucking pilot, man. <laughs> that bit's bent as well. And that's the fucking nose of the plane. I might just build the chair and then come back to you and show you and show you and show you the finished chair. If I have any fucking accidents or glue my hand like Dr. Spock, I'll let you know about it. Look at that gigantic ejector seat. This thing, remember it said on the box, yeah, it'll take an hour to build this. Well, let me tell you, it took nearly two hours to build this seat and paint it in that tiny wee gear stick in the middle. A wee joystick, man. Look, it's that small, the camera refuses to focus. <laughs> this is one of the things, or one of the reasons why I fell in love with Airfix when I was a child. Because you got to build engines, things that nobody else would see when they picked the thing up, but you knew it was in there because you built it. I've still got to put the wee boy in it, right? The wee boy. I've got to put the wee fully grown man in there. You'll learn things the hard way, and one of the things you will learn the hard way, like humans do, is we'll peel, twist that off of there, and then try and paint it. Well, no. Paint the fucking thing first before you take it off of there. Trust me, it'll save a whole lot of stress. Skill level two. Fuck you, man. They don't give you any skin tone to do his face and hands. Right, here's a question. Uh, Gary. I was gonna paint his tiny wee hands black to make it look like he's got leather gloves on to match his, his hat and his boots. His hat, his helmet and his boots. But, the question is, do fighter pilots wear leather gloves? Are they barehanded? Like, what, yeah, what's the deal with that? It's smaller than my finger. <laughs> it's smaller than my fingernail. Oh, did you see that? Fuck. And now I've got... Oh, for fuck's sake, Frankie. How do you even manage these things? Come on, homie, let's get you up with that. Sweet. <laughs> and then all I need to do now is touch up that wee bit of paint on that wee white dot. Can you see that? What an absolute nightmare. Right, I'm going to glue his arse in there. Sorry, whoever's just uploaded, but... I can't get to your video just yet. Solo bro, we're going to get first then. I'm going to go and get first on your video, Solo bro. Watch this. First. Yes. Refresh the comment. Still first. Have a wee thumbs up there, mate. I'm going to wait to watch your video while this bit dries then. Yes, mate! You may have noticed I haven't put any of the decals on because See how these things work, right? They're not stickers. You have to cut out the bit you need. So you have to cut like that bit out. Soak the paper in warm water so you could peel that off. And then you have to use some kind of adhesive to stick that to the plane. So that can get itself to fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Click. 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 I've just figured out something. Well, I've figured out something. I never figured out anything. I googled it. This one flying hours thing, which I thought was, it'll take you one hour to build this. No. This is kind of like an air miles thing. You know, like you collect your air miles and then you trade them in for like a free flight somewhere around the world. Well, that's what this is. 
You collect so many flying hours and you can trade them in for a free airfix model. How cool is that? <laughs> I was saying it's it reminds me of the, uh, the fucking Harrier jump jet that I loved when I was a kid. Well, it turns out this is a jump jet. It's not the jump jet. These are the jets clearly look in it and you're allowed to adjust them so they either point along the plane or point down. Well, it's facing that way in the thing. So they either point along the way or down to give it the boost or give it the boost. So it is a jump jet. I was wrong. There you go. <laughs> Mark Fine Jones, this old stoner. I'm about to join the ranks of yours. Well, first I have to go through my basic training first. This has been sitting in the shed for many, many, many years. It belongs to the missus. I'm sure it was a Christmas gift from her dad. Yeah, the thing's never been used, so I'm gonna be the first one to see what I can do with it. Looks, looks simple enough. To... <laughs> it's got a funny feeling, I might, I might need the instructions. It's kinda like the one that Stoner uses, is it? He's, no, he's got, he can connect a big fucking, uh, a bigger cylinder to his. I'm gonna need to look in at all this shit. Fill fluid in the cup after thinning appropriately. Oh, there's no thinner there. This is the only hose that we've got with it, right? So imagine it connects onto there because that's the only place for it to go. But this bit here has a, a connection for the hose. So, fuck knows what's going on with that. And this paintbrush doesn't have, because the other end is the same connection as that. But this doesn't have that connection, so do I unscrew that and then screw that on. And I figured out when I tightened that up, that stopped me being able to pull that back. So I need to find a happy place for that, I think. Is that what that bit's called, the paint well? Oh, that's tricky. Fucking hell, I don't think that was put on the right threads. <laughs> you fucking nugget. What would be the happy, the happy bit in between 30 and 40? PSI. So push for air, yeah. And then pull back for paint. You get some wind noise for you, bro. You could only use this for 10 minutes and then you have to let it cool down for 15 minutes and it's got a thermal cut-off safety thing. I don't like the fact you could only use it for 10 minutes. That scares me already. They're water-based paints, but it says you have to thin them. Where is it? Mm -mm -mm, mm -mm -mm. Can be mixed and diluted with airbrush thinner. So, can I not thin them down with water if they're water-based paints? Eh? MFJ, Stoner. Help me out on that one, man. How, like, yeah, just put some black in there. Tape them down, because I'm no daft. Okay. So, really fine work. Fill back for more paint. So I'm just gonna... Fuck around with it, see how far I get before the... The paint runs out. Fuck me guys, you make this look easy. Cause it's not like using a pen, eh? It's like, fuck me. Cause it just, look at that. I can draw straight lines, I promise you. <laughs> what an absolute mess. <laughs> look how shaky that is. Right, fuck me guys. <laughs> no, please don't. How do these guys do it? They do it like, 
I don't even remember seeing you using two hands to guide your cell, but is that a thing? Because it looks like... It looks like I might be doing that. But then that's still... That's hindering my movements as well. How do I start on a page without getting that fucking stupid? <laughs> and I've still got a nice couple of mil of fucking paint left in there. Clearly I can't pour that back in there because it's got one of those stupid nozzle bits. I could see me taking up stencils. <laughs> oh man, oh, I need fun. Guys, hats off to you. Stoner, hats off to you man because this isn't as easy as you make it look. Fuck me. See that? See that? <laughs> That's the last bit to go on, man. It's the very, very last bit. I'm just gonna dip it in. Man, nah. Make it face that way. There we have it then. Finished. Finito. I've got a couple of wee dots of glue on that window there so you can of really see. I'm gonna try and remove that with some fucking ISO. See if that works. Or melts the plastic. <laughs> There's a couple of bits that were painted like the flaps. You gotta paint your flaps and the wheels. Oh, let me tell you, those wheels there are painting the silver bits on the inside of them. That was a nightmare. Oh, Grandad, do you think it's possible to turn one of these into an RC plane? Just stick fucking drone uh, propellers on it, eh? Turn it into a wee, a wee drone. I'm gonna need to paint it pink. <coughs> it says it's acrylic paints, right? But the acrylic paints that I have, like the normal painty paints, just won't stick to it. Just won't stick to it. So, it, I don't, I don't get it. We'll worry about that another time. That's that done. But I suppose the big question on everybody's mind is who won the other battle? Who won the other battle? <laughs> strange, eh? Strange. That was me popping my finger in there last night <laughs> to see if it was dry yet. <laughs> I could have fucking stuck a frying pan to my fingers, man. Yeah, so it's kind of gave it a white coating and that bit there, look. If we put it in angle, look, you see it still pours a bit. So, the glue... Essentially... Well, we'll call it a draw. Because, well, we'll try and clean that then. I think maybe the non-stick pan... The non-stick pan clearly kept the majority of the glue from sticking. This is just the, one of those cleaning wipes for... Right, so we've got... No, oh, see? Are you kidding me, man? Right, I'll just get all these finger mats. That was me trying to wipe it as well, was it? Fuck me, man. <laughs> Looks like the pan won. Non-stick frying pan versus fucking super glue or crazy glue in the States to you guys, but the pan won, man. <laughs> fucking pan won. Ding, ding. We have a new champion. This is brilliant, man. So, I could, I can peel, I can peel the glue up. <laughs> the pan won. You fought well, valiant warrior. Now rest in peace. <laughs>